morning, kids. I want to share with you a little bit from the book of Isaiah this morning. But first, I'm sure you're probably wondering why Judy is sitting here with her eyes covered, why she is blindfolded. And, and we're going to leave her sit there like that for just a second. We'll, we'll come back to, to Judy in just a moment. But first, I want to read to you from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. Isaiah chapter 9, 2 through 7. But there will be no gloom for those who were in anguish. In the former time, he brought into attempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time, he will make glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased in joy. They rejoice for you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult from the dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders and the raw of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in the blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I want you to hear in that story a couple of different things. Did you hear anything about Christmas in that story? Let's see if we can tell that Christmas story together. Of course, we know that we're starting with Mary and Joseph as they travel and the angels and the, the bright light that the shepherds saw. And of course, we have to wonder what Judy is thinking as she's still sitting here with her eyes covered. I'm sure that if I asked each and every one of you to tell a different component of that story, you could tell it so well. But could you find components in that story and what I just read to you from the book of Isaiah? The story of Christmas is the beginning of something new. Jesus being born changes everything. The reading from Isaiah talks about people who cannot see the good things that are going on in life, who have no hope, who are not finding love. It's about the people who have difficult lives finding relief from things that are hard. And some of those difficult things could be being sick or getting bullied or just being sad about something. Sometimes we just get used to these things. So when they're taking away, it's surprising and it's uplifting and it takes a burden off of our shoulders. And this is why Jesus came to earth. This is why Jesus was born for you and I. So what does it feel like when a burden has been lifted from you? So I'm going to ask Judy to take that blindfold off. <sighs> And now that burden has been lifted from her and she can see and she can rejoice in all of the wonderful things that are going on around us. When burdens are lifted from us, when we give our burdens over to God, we can rejoice and we can see clearly in the many blessings and the gifts that God has for us. My hope and prayer is that as you go through this lesson, as you prepare for the Advent season, as you get ready and get excited as a family, that you too will turn your burdens over to God. Amen. So I want to read to you kids the same scripture from Isaiah chapter 9 that I read to you just a few moments ago. But this is coming from a different version of the Bible. This is, a, this is an NIV, a New International Version. And I want to, to read this to you again, starting with chapter verse 2. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light was dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in the battle and every garment rolled in the blood will be destined for burning. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. 
as you hear this second reading of the scripture, which is a little bit different wording than the first one, I hope that once again you can hear those words, that he will be wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace, and that you will acknowledge and look for ways in which we can rejoice in the birth of our Savior from this day forward. Amen.